welcome to the It is crazy windy today, and my friend Kaz is setting up targets and the target camera, but even my little box there is screwed. So today, finally, as promised, we are shooting the M6 Scout. Uh, obviously, I've been shooting some other stuff, but we're shooting the M6 Scout today for the video. Winchester rounds. We have Winchester This is great. shotgun. We're shooting Winchester Super X 410. Additionally, we will be shooting some of this birdshot. Just so you guys can see the spread. We are shooting the shotgun loads at 25, 15, 10, and 5 yards. Uh, for the birdshot, we are shooting 25. Are uh, they are three pellet or five pellets? Sorry, four ten double hundred pound buck. On top of that, we will be shooting the twenty two hornet at twenty five yards. We will be shooting three rounds of twenty two hornet. Now, just for a quick rundown. Two-shot shotgun rifle over under. Um, it, it, it's really simple. So essentially, how it works is you have this lever right here, and that opens it up. And you can see there's two chambers. There is a shotgun chamber that's for the 410, and then there's the rifle chamber, and that is for the 22 Hornet. Now, and if I am very careful, and I can hold this thing stable. See that the top of the barrel is rifled. The bottom barrel is not. And that should translate into the accuracy. And as you probably just heard, I was able to snap it closed with my hand. So that's kind of a nice thing. Another thing is the safety. It's really simple. All it is is a plunger. Uh, it's also a selector. Pushing it all the way down like this puts it in the 410 position. All the way up is the 22 horn position. And there's a clip for the middle and twist, as you can see on the top there. That might be hard to be able to focus. But if you twist it, it locks it into the same position. You can't lift it and push it down. Very simple. The sights are kind of cool. The front sight is just this simple blade. It looks like it's uh, it's cast out of steel. And then the rear sight, there is a And then a simple, very simple V-notch for the 410. So we'll see how well that works out. And finally, there is a magazine in the back. Uh, like I said, it is single shot for each one of these rounds, so you do have to break it open, load the next round. It doesn't obviously load from this magazine. But being a survival rifle, it's not really designed for fast fire. It's designed to just take out some food for you, essentially. So it's otherwise nothing special. It's all stamped steel, except for the barrel. Uh, it does have a plastic butt pad, pad, I should say. It does actually have a nice soft rubber cheek piece, which is surprising. It's kind of nice. Uh, the paint job on this I did myself. I'm not too worried about it. But this penny pincher isn't really a penny pincher at all. Uh, it will run about $600 to find one of these. So I got mine as a gift. So guys, Once again, I do have to apologize for the wind. Uh, I did. I was told that it was going to be windy. I just did not realize how windy it was going to be. So, please forgive that. So, target set up over there. And let's get to shooting.
I had my, my assistant shoot the rifle for me. Uh, I thought she might have fun shooting it. So we started with the bird shot, like I said before. And as you can see, we only got one, two, three, four hits on target. So it's not looking great at 25 yards or 25 meters with uh, using bird shot. It's, a, it's not choked or anything, it's just a straight bore. So let's see how the buckshot does next. All right, so we got the buckshot now at 25 yards. And unfortunately, only one ball got on target. You can see just right there. And I really wouldn't blame that on the shooter, uh, mostly because we expect a wide spread at 25 yards with a simple straight bore shotgun. So next, we're going to move in for 15 yards, and we'll see how much better and how tighter the spread will be. So now, at 15 yards, or 15 meters, uh, we have a little bit tighter, but we still haven't gotten very many hits. It looks like we only have two. Now the thing is, at this range, and these are soft lead ball, it might be that these rounds are fusing together and just training into that, that one spot. Uh, some of the wind coming from that direction could also be affecting the accuracy and pushing these balls this way. Uh, they are going supersonic, supposedly, but I'm not so sure about that. So it could be that some of the weather conditions aren't really helping with the accuracy. So hopefully, with the next closer shot, we'll have a better idea of what's going on. All right, looks like we actually have some good accuracy at 10 yards or 10 meters. I keep mixing up the two, but they're fairly close to each other, so I'm not super worried about it. But as you can see on the target, we have one, two, three, four, five hits. There's five pellets per round, so that's all on target. That is still pretty darn close to that you would need to be to use this effectively, uh, unless you're in like, I don't know, self-defense situation or something like that. But I wouldn't be using this at long range with buckshot against anything, honestly, at this point. But we will shoot one more time at five yards. So before this shot starts, I just want to say my assistant, Cassandra, does not want to be on camera. And that's why she's off camera. But she's a friend of mine from work. So whenever you're ready, but take your time. So now we shot at five yards of bird shots. So you have an idea of the difference between shooting at 25 yards way over there and shooting at five yards and how important it is to know the spread of your firearm. You can see all of that shot is in the center. It's on target. So you can still be accurate. You just need to be at a closer range. So next what we're going to do is shoot our last shot, a buckshot, and see how well it does in the short range. I'm not sure what's what on this target at this point. Uh, so we shot at five yards, that a lot of buckshot, five pellets, and all of the obviously it's five yards, you can't miss. So if you were in a situation where you need to a target at close range, this might be a good choice for you. So next, what we're probably gonna end up doing is shooting at 25 yards for accuracy on the rifle. I'm going to be shooting three rounds of this Winchester 22 Hornet. I'm going to be doing it from a sitting position. That way I can ensure I'm stable. I'm just going to show you real quick. Round out. It's really convenient because otherwise, when you 
it's stuck in there from observation. say, despite this being a very light gun, the round being so small means it has very light recoil. Another thing I should say though is it's so windy and this gun is so light, it literally blows the gun around. I've never had that experience with any firearm except for a handgun. So, very, very strange. So let's go walk down to the target and see what's going on there. So, I shot three rounds of the 22 Hornet at a really wobbly target. And I gotta say, I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. This is a pretty large group. I do feel like I probably made it, could have made it tighter if it weren't so windy out here and I felt like I had a bit more time to make the shot and set it up and everything. But I'm happy with that. I think really when it comes down to it, you wouldn't be using this firearm in conditions like this. You probably would be in a wooded area, uh, somewhere a bit more sheltered, and you'd be able to take out your uh, whatever rabbit or small game that you go after. You might even be able to get medium game with that rabbit. Really lucky. So it's a really good rifle. I would actually suggest it for anybody who's going to go backpacking and they're in a state where you can actually have a firearm like this because it is reasonably accurate for honestly a cheaply put together firearm. So I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I hope you guys like the video and always remember a good gun doesn't have to cost a